CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler, powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, yeah. On this episode of Florida Sport Fishing, we're on board the legendary Yankee captain. What's different about this year is we're really focused on slow pitch jigging. Nice. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Maxell Two Speed Big Game Reels, exceptional performance with silky smooth carbon drags and heat treated stainless steel gears. The future of fish fighting is here. VMC Coastal Black Hooks, engineered to withstand saltwater. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Motor Guide, precise maneuverability equals better fishing. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike, we've got Captain Carlos on board. What's going on guys? Check it out, we've got an absolutely sick show for you. We're on board the legendary Yankee Captains. 100 foot party boat yep. sailing out of Key West year round. Every year we get about 20 guys together. They join us out here for three days of fishing, two full nights. It's a lot of time. We're gonna be at the rail for a lot of well, time. Well, it's an addiction at this point. It really is. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we've done this show multiple times. I know you've watched them. What's different about this year is we're really focused on slow pitch jigging. Yeah. There's not a lot of information yet out there right. on slow pitch jigging. And if you don't know a lot about it, I'll tell you, you got to stick around. We're going to touch on tackle, including rods, reels, line, leader systems. So I'll tell you what, stick around. It's going to be an absolutely awesome show. Beautiful mutton snapper. And you can see again, these multiple hooks on these jigs. Here's this fish, got him on the gap, and my slow pitch jig has four hooks in it. And he's got two right up here, one right in the corner of the mouth, and two down here, one actually stuck right in his fin. But that fish wasn't going anywhere. And again, that dissipates all of that pressure into multiple points. That fish saw that jig down there, just darting right off the bottom, about 15 to 18 feet off the bottom. Couldn't resist it. We just moved. Greg made a quick wiggle, and as soon as we set, my jig was falling, and I got whacked. There's four other guys on the boat that got hit at the same time. Five hookups. Five hookups immediately, like within seconds. It was awesome. So just trying to see what it is. Wow, dude. Yeah. I gain 10 feet, he takes 20. Yeah. Yeah, why did I have to hook that thing? On the lighthouse. In 200 and some feet of water. Got him on the spinner. You know, slow pitch jigging is really a conventional game. It really is. However, having that spinning outfit is super important for you to drop a jig down in between the conventional rods, you know, to give your arm a rest. And not that it's excruciating, but after, you know, I just fought a big shark that ate my jig for a long time. So it's nice to be able to just switch over if you need to. Plus that spinner is gonna be versatile. You're gonna use it if you see any dolphin coming by. <laughs> Lots of purposes for it. <clears throat> and it's just downright fun. That's an African pompano. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. It's your turn to score big. Book a long-range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. 
saltish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. Boats get dirty, that's a fact. Thankfully, Rejuvenate Marine uses patented nanotechnology to make your boat cleaning faster and easier, literally cutting your cleaning time in half. Watch this. With highly concentrated biodegradable ingredients across their complete line of cleaning and care products, Rejuvenate Marine lasts longer while providing professional cleaning power that's safe for all surfaces and for the environment. Rejuvenate Marine, spend more time fishing and less time cleaning. Another one on the jig. That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Just sitting here grinding it out. More than half the boat's asleep right now. I don't know, it's, I've lost count of what time it is. It's probably two or three in the morning. <laughs> I bounced this jig off the bottom and something smacked it. I don't think it's a tuna, but we'll see. Hopefully. <laughs> well, it's got a little weight to it, whatever it is. My line's just going away. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's literally just taking line. I have no, and I can't tighten the drag too much because keep in mind, the hooks we're using are light wire. So you put too much heat on them, you're gonna rip them right out of them. I, I think my fish just got ate. That's what I think's happening now because it's going out to sea and I can't stop this. Oh my God. Yeah, there's a big shark. Big shark. Oh, that's a grouper. Half of a grouper, dude. Half of a grouper. And a hammerhead just chomped him. Look at that. Oh, man. This is heartbreaking. This is part of paying taxes out here when you're in the Tortugas and Pulley Ridge. That's a beautiful scamp. That would have been my biggest scamp right there. <laughs> and. That's what you gotta pay sometimes. But it's all right, got the bite, got the fish. Most of it anyways, three quarters, <laughs> so. 5 a.m., bite's hot. You know, the cool thing about these trips is you've got daytime, nighttime, and certainly not every trip out here is gonna be wide open, you know, a wide open bite during the day and at night. Yeah, there's gonna be some epic trips, but usually, one or the other and this trip really seems like the night bite has been predominantly hot and not all night you know and I point that out because certainly you want to sleep but if you're not at the rail you miss that opportunity when that bite does turn on and that's exactly what's unfolded here tonight we started off the evening relatively slow night's been slow and then as dawn approaches here it really is just turned on with a mixed bag of muttons, blackfin tunas. So it's always good to come on these trips too with a buddy and don't sleep at the same time. This way you can wake each other up if you do go down for a little cat nap. You know, I'll tell you these slow pitch rods, you'll notice that universally, they all have a split grip on the butt section. And that's what I'm referring to by the split grip with the little EVA foam at the end. You know, and that does a couple of different things. Number one, under your arm, you're, you're really contacting that blank now in multiple areas. I'm contacting the blank here and I'm contacting the blank there. So it gives me an opportunity for a lot of sensitivity throughout that entire rod and really throughout my whole body. Man, this fish just doesn't want to stop. Gosh, look at him just going. 
hopefully now we can make some progress here right on the reel. You can see just pointing the rod tip at the fish and just using that reel. Whenever that fish gives me anything, I'm gonna take it. Oh my God, look at this smoker. Another one of the, you know, many pelagic predators that'll eat these jigs. They're so versatile. Pros Tip, brought to you by Pelagic, high performance offshore gear. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Pros Tip. If I could leave you with one thing, if I can provide you with one really vital tip when it comes to slow pitch jigging, it's something that, you know, I'll call jig awareness. It's having a clear understanding where your slow pitch jig is in the water column. How does it fall? How does it flutter? Where is it, you know, in conjunction with the sea floor? When does it make contact? How high is it off the bottom when you're working it back to the boat or just fishing a particular strike zone? You know, having that knowledge is absolutely crucial to successful slow pitch jigging. And only when you truly are one with the jig and in harmony with the jig and you're able to control it and to manipulate it, longer sweeps or just slower, short little pumps, okay? Or an erratic action mixing two different pitches together. I can go full revolutions, I can go half revolutions, quarter revolutions and really make that jig react the way that I want it to react. And only when you reach that point are you really gonna start to achieve consistent success, slow pitch jigging? It's not just the lure, it's an entire system. It's the lure, the leader, the line, the rod, the reel, it's everything. But most importantly, it's you as the angler. And really, practice. I can't stress it enough. I mean, it's so important practice. Every time you go out there, you know, make sure you've got a slow pitch outfit on the boat. Any sort of hard bottom, drop that jig. You see fish busting up on top, tunas, kings, drop that jig, okay? And just work it, learn it, live it, and love it. Fiberglass, they use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. And that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors. With industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates, not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box, or freezer for every boat. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Joey Accardi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram reminds you that before you can do this, you have to do this. And before you can do that, you're going to need this. Save thousands on every new Ram truck at Joey Accardi in Pompano Beach. Family owned and operated and bringing South Florida our best deals for over 25 years. So before you can do this, do this. And before you can do this, you have to do this. Visit JoeyAccardiCDJR.com. Feels like a grouper or snapper, hopefully. Hit it literally on the bottom, so. I'm gonna re-emphasize, I haven't picked up a bait rod the whole trip, okay? Strictly jigs. Me and Mike have just been fishing the metals. And it tells you, it should tell you something of how effective 
this method is. If you fine tune your rhythm, you know how to work the gear, you can pretty much catch anything that swims in the ocean. I hate to say it, but that's the truth. There he is, mutton. Beautiful fish, just whack that jig. On the way down, you can see he was in the rocks, trying to get me rocked up down there. That's why his scales are missing. But whack that jig. I think another one hit it. I missed that one, and then this one came and picked it up. Look at that, and it just came out. I didn't even have to force it. That tells you you gotta keep tension on these things. You give them slack, that's how you lose them. After 40 hours and 40 fish, or however many, I'm pretty freaking tired. And you know what the funny part is? I'm gonna drop that jig right back down, baby. Because I can't not do it. That's right, because you can't catch them at home. I just dropped the jig, I switched jigs, bounced it off the bottom, got whacked. One thing you need to remember when you're fighting these things with these slow pitch rods, just take your time. Take your time fighting these fish. You rush it, that's when you lose them and things can go bad. One thing about this reel, oh no, 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 no. We come off, it came off. Hooks are still there. He just came unglued. Oh, I had too much heat on him. A little bit less heat, I probably could have got him. There you go, you can learn from my mistake. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. If you're just joining us, let's quickly bring them up to speed. Yep. We're aboard the Yankee Captains on our annual three-day adventure way out here into the Gulf of Mexico. We do these trips every year. The unique facet about this year's trip is the focus on slow pitch jigging. Jigging, yep. You know, and that's something that I want to talk to you even more about. We've already showed you the success that you could achieve fishing these slow pitch jigs. Incredible. The yeah. variety, the mm -hmm. quality of fish. I mean, it really is unlimited. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I want to talk to you about the tackle, about the rods that we designed. You've had an opportunity to fish these in this environment for the mm -hmm. first time here. You know, back in the day, Carlos, up until recently, this has really been your typical grouper sticks. snapper rod. The meat sticks. Eight yeah. foot rod mm -hmm. matched to a Daiwa Saltiga lever drag loaded with 30 pound braid. Okay, and this is, you know, the go-to for the mutton snappers, the red snappers, Which, the groupers. It still works. Absolutely. You know, but Dude, look at the difference. Rod. And that just <laughs> said, I think yeah. that's the most important thing that I want to show you right out of the gate is the difference in the size between really what we used to fish on a regular yeah. basis to what we're fishing now on a regular basis. However, you know, one thing we talk about a lot that people mention to you, what's the first thing they think when they see slow pitch tackle? A uh, bass rod. That's right. They think it's just a glorified <laughs> yeah. bass rod, yeah. that it doesn't yeah. have the power. They think it, that thing's in a snap. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. They think it's yeah. a toy. Right. And you know, we initially almost thought oh, the yeah, same yeah, yeah, thing yeah. and yeah. we're in the industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But once you get to know the tackle and you understand why it was created. And how to work it. How it was created, yeah. how to fish it properly, yeah. you realize how powerful and how unique these rod and reel systems really it's are. It's changing your mindset a little bit. So our series of slow pitch rods, you know, they're anywhere from 5'8 to 6'6. Six, six. It's rare that you're ever going to see a slow pitch rod, you know, longer than 6'6. Six, six. Right. You just don't need it. Yep. Parabolic blanks, Torre carbon fiber, absolutely incredibly strong. Mm -hmm. Incredibly strong. I yeah. mean, we've showed you the amount of heat that you can put on these rods. Sharks, amber jack, <laughs> you name you know, it. Forget I mean, the, right, forget <laughs> the snappers and groupers. Yeah, Let's the talk real about deal. the Those real, the real deal. Yeah, yeah. of the deep. Yeah. Okay, really significant power in these rods, yeah. but ultra lightweight. The rods are wrapped with an acid wrap uh, or a spiral wrap type guide system to prevent the braid, the fragile braid on the reel from ever touching the blank. Mm -hmm. The rods are matched to Daiwa Saltiga's little star drag reels. Yep. Now this is another area that's really important. These micro star drag reels have come a long way in in recent years. Yeah, it's a little powerhouse. It much really is. is. And yeah. what's important about this, again, when you are slow pitch jigging, this is in the palm of your hand the entire Comfort time. Yeah. So comfort is at an, a huge factor. Yeah. 
The reel is loaded with 400 yards, a 40 pound braid, mm -hmm. diamond braid. It's super important that your braid be fresh and free of any nicks or abrasions. Yeah, okay. otherwise you're gonna pay the price. Absolutely, yeah. from there we fish a short leader, doesn't need to be more than 10 feet, and that could be 60 or 80 pound diamond presentation fluorocarbon. Yep. We connect the fluorocarbon to the braid on the reel with either an FG knot, that's my preference, Carlos, you use? I use a bimini or spider hits and then just use a reverse all braid. Or so it's whatever hand. you really yeah, have just confidence what you're comfortable in, with. you yeah. know, that you mm -hmm. can tie with one hand behind your back in right. the dark on a rocking boat. Right. That's the knot that you should use. Yep. From there, it's just tied directly to the jig. So far, I mean, we've, I, I don't know how many different species we've already encountered. You can't count them. You know, yeah. and the quality and the size of some of the fish that have been caught, not only by our crew, but of Everybody. course the passengers on the boat, yeah. you know, has been super exciting. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for resident and visiting anglers. Each giant issue is packed with informative editorials, easy to follow illustrations, and tips to keep you hooked up. Subscribe today and I'll deliver the magazine to your home for only four cents a day. Visit fsftv.com right now and I'll also include a hat, unlimited access to Florida Sport Fishing Digimag for your tablet and phone, and a special gift to keep you cool on and off the water. It's your turn to score big. Book a long-range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Lingren Pitman, purpose-built, high-capacity 12 and 24 volt electric deep drop, dredge and daytime swordfish reels. Number one in design, ease of use, reliability and power. Boat Outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Salt Life Optics, anti-glare Zeiss lenses, provide on parallel protection and polarization. Taco Marine, official outrigger system of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Interesting scenario, we're set up and we've got a big sea anchor out off the stern and we're keeping the bow drifting downwind, just down sea like this. So our lines inevitably are kind of scoping to the stern a little bit because of that sea anchor, but it's helping slow our drift down, makes it a little bit easier for everybody to fish all around the boat spread out a little bit more. And again, that's all gonna be based on conditions. You may come out here and never deploy that sea anchor or come out here and use it on every drop. So again, it's gonna be that captain's discretion when he deploys it. You cannot anchor out here in this area. First of all, it's very deep over the edge, but up here, up on the bank, you know, we're fishing again, 220 to 250. And it's not that you physically can anchor, you certainly can. But there's some protected plate corals down there. Really awesome uh, vegetation growing on the coral as well. Almost like a kelp. Really neat stuff. So you can't drop that anchor on this fragile ground out here. You know, everybody thinks, you know, like no motor zones or prop scars. You know, in other words, they hear all of this damage done in some shallow shallow arenas, but the same applies in some protected offshore areas. You can't just drop your anchor wherever you want. Last drop here this morning. Our trip's coming to a close. We had a sick bite early this morning. Started off around three o'clock. You saw a lot of it. It lasted past sunrise. Then it kind of fizzled out and we made a little move. And again, this is gonna be our last drop of the trip, guys. Hey, my goal was to really share the slow pitch experience with you. To talk to you about tackle, to talk to you about technique, about jigs, and to show you firsthand how effective this approach could be daytime, nighttime, on a wide variety of species, certainly and especially at night. Man, it's a big, big fish.
man, that is one strong fish. It's incredible how strong that tackle is. Again, you know, we've talked so much about it and it all starts with these carbon fiber blanks. Oh, oh, oh. I, I absolutely do not want to walk down the side of this boat. Am I getting close? I was. Ah. Ah. Look at that, I mean, look at that power in that rod. I can't get over it. I really can't. There we go. So you could see I'm only, I'm like literally pushing that tackle right to its very, very limits right there. And all I gotta do is just inch that fit. There it is, oh, I could see it way down there. You know, at this stage with a big fish like this, that's so strong and I'm so close. I mean, my only option is literally finesse, pure power and finesse, just finding that balance of, of how far I could push this. Again, wow, what a cool fish. Hey, hopefully you picked up a ton of tips about slow pitch jigging. You know, we tried to cover as much as we could, but just remember nothing substitutes time on the water. And if you want to join us next year on Florida Sport Fishing's annual long range adventure aboard the Yankee Captains, make sure to check out their website, yankeecaptains.com, and make sure to visit floridasportfishing.com. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, youtube.com forward slash Florida Sport Fishing. And we'll see you next week. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.